folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Chelsea Smith and this is Mandy Little. Instead of Mandy Moore, it's Mandy Little. Yeah. So it's like you get more. Yeah. Probably in a lot of ways, honestly. Yeah. Mandy, I would like you to hold this glass of wine and I just want you to hold it really like nice and tight and low. Like nice and tight and low, yeah. Okay. okay. Ready? Just nice and tight and low. Yep. <laughs> nice and tight and low. by chatting a little bit about this thing my friend Rashawn and I were talking about yesterday. It's called the cheats or the tush theory. Okay. Okay, so, um, I didn't yeah, know I was I, waiting for something. Yeah, waiting, for, the uh, waiting for that wine to be in my mouth. It's called the cheats or the tush theory. You either are skinny and you have this like decrepit face that's like old and it, like people that are skinny, like their face gets like, you know what I'm saying? It looks, yeah. looks older, way younger, yeah. and there's not enough like to collagen and plump in there to like yeah. keep everything in there. So you either choose like you're chunky or like a little, it got a little extra loving, you yeah. know, a little extra yeah. pushing for the pushing because your body looks good. Okay. Or you choose your face it looks good. Face. So you're feeling, we're feeling like yeah. we're we're cheeks. Yeah. Kind of crew. Yeah. I'll take the cheeks. Cheeks. Do you think that Jacques Vermont Webster the second? That sounds like a dude that would have a billionaire wife. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Jacques Vermont Webster II. Like, what about Travis Scott? Travis Scott. Does that sound sounds like a name like a that you would have? Like, order. Right. Well, did you know that Travis Scott's real name is Jacques Vermont Webster II? I did not know that. Did not know that. Crazy, huh? Yeah. Mind blown. Yeah. Stormy, their kid's name is Stormy Webster. Okay. She might be a stripper when she goes up. <laughs> <laughs> so, a couple weeks ago, Mandy did this thing 23andMe. Oh. <laughs> and this is kind of a story that needs to be told, like for the masses. Yep. Okay, so, like, I, if you don't know what 23andMe is, you send in your DNA. What do you do? Swap your you, butt? You just spit and you do spit. this little thing, and then you mail it in, and then it takes like a few weeks to get back. So, first, I was pretty disappointed that I'm just I'm white. Well, basically, like, where was it saying? It was like European, broadly European, Eastern European. Literally, like the most general answers yeah. ever. Yeah. Like you could give totally. her a little more yeah. specifics, right? Yeah. But it, it really was like white, white cracker, literally super white. <laughs> yeah. White as can be. We don't know how you white. can. You might as well. Twenty-three. <laughs> You better just take it from me and just be like white. Yeah, nothing I didn't already girl, know. Girl, white girl, white yeah. girl wasted. But then I clicked on this little thing where it says, explore your 1,093 relatives. And so I click on there. Like, hmm, wait, 1,093? Yeah. That's not a ton. Yeah. And then it was like, at me. Like, it literally goes back that far. No, just people who have taken it. So other people throughout I was like, the world. Not a ton of people back to the history of time. No, just people who have taken the 23andMe. That and is the, relative. That's crazy. And at the very top of it says, Tom. <laughs> Tom Henry might be your half brother. Stop. I don't have a half brother. Named Tom Henry. But it seems as if DNA is not usually wrong. Yeah. You know, like DNA is kind of correct. Yeah. Most times. So you find out that you have a brother. Yeah. Through 23andMe. Yeah. And he looks exactly, I mean, down to the same haircut that I hate on my dad anyways. No. Oh my God. Same it's haircut. Like in his jeans. That haircut is like. Yeah. Makes gosh. no sense. Your dad didn't even know about him. Yeah. So the girl gets pregnant, runs off, gives it up for adoption. Mm-hmm. So I had what would have been really crazy is if you guys would have met and fell in love. Oh, gross. Yeah, but like, what if? No. And you would never know, and then you just I wouldn't have me. because of his hair. And it's like a Game of Thrones, like, part two. <laughs> like. And what does your dad think of this whole thing? Yeah. Like, send me a Christmas mm -hmm. card? Because like. the mom came back at some point, and he said, Oh, I was wondering where she was going, or where she went, why I didn't have any contact with her. Well, apparently it's because she was giving up his kid for adoption. There's only one way that I would give a kid up for adoption, like legitimately, this is the one way, is if I legitimately didn't know which father it would be. Maybe she like, did. If I was having like a really bad two week stretch of tender dates, 
Maybe she didn't. And I was just like, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Maybe she But then she went back to my dad and she knew. Maybe she had to wait until the kid got older and saw what he looked like. <laughs> <laughs> was that the end of 23andMe? Why is it I called 23andMe so. in the first place? I don't know. I'm trying to think. I didn't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Evolution had to have happened to some extent. So I think that God used evolution to create the world. Or no, 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 he's no, no, just no. this like genius scientist that's just like, here, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna create this like <laughs> earth and then like let let shit roll. Uh, and like see how things happen. Yeah. Cause then like ice age, meteors, yeah, blah blah blah. But I think there was a moment, like I really think there was a moment where he was like, okay, now like what I've created is is good and like kind of put that like soul into people and mm -hmm. I think that was kind of that was the moment yeah but I don't think it was like plop 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 yeah. <laughs> here you go and here's an apple <laughs> what are you gonna do with it God didn't give her the apple <laughs> Satan did <laughs> Duh. we are genius from from people that are Christian they're gonna be like but that's not what the Bible says and I'm like I could find <laughs> 75,000 contradictions in the Bible yeah like you have to use your brain is that rude <laughs> I'm sorry, there but like, some weird you, things in the Bible. Yeah, like, like you have to use your noggin. So, um, I just want to remind you to project. Okay. But don't projectile vomit. I'll try not to. <laughs> seven days before or after she's on her period. Because women like didn't have to do anything for ten days. Yeah. And they respected that like that was their time to like be in this red tent. And I'm like, well, nice. I take a red tent. Yeah. <laughs> do I get? I'll camp my ass out. Do I get red like? Tent? Like. <laughs> hey, time off during this red tent situation. Yeah. And then like you might as well take ovulating and be like, that's also a time. Yeah. You know, what? just put us back at home. Yeah. I just put it so far. <laughs> put us back at home. Well, it's become Mormon. <laughs> I'm like washed up. <laughs> well, no Mormon's gonna want me. <laughs> <laughs> Have you the, seen? The, all the all of the Mormon guys that are not married are 18 or 20 and they've been on their mission and they're ready to rumble. Yeah. Let's go into online dating because- Oh, I can oh. talk about this. <laughs> Let's talk about online dating. I want to tell you about the product. Have you online I dated? Think, oh, hardcore. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, dude, I I was like taking that walk <laughs> through Twitter and I, I had very low standards. I would, I would literally swipe like, so I tried to say I wouldn't date anybody if it was six, three or below. But like, I would like be like, well, his face is kind And I started getting like yeah. smart. Like I was like, I can tell from here to here. Like mm -hmm. if I see a picture of you alone from here to here, I look at how long that is and I know how tall you are. Huh. Cause it's not like everybody's head is different size. So you yeah. can see their head and you can see they have long, long yeah. arm. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> if they're short and they have really long arms, then oh my gosh, they're I've gonna had, look I had so many guys be like, I'm 5'10 and I get there and he's like 5'7. And like I'm five nine. Yeah. So That's I was already I was already it was already like a yeah. legit charity yeah. case. I have an idea, and it's not like that many people watch these videos, so <laughs> none of you are gonna steal this idea. And, if and you also I probably then... shouldn't do this idea. It's not like a very Christian thing to do. <laughs> okay. But I think everybody should have like a one night stand bag in their trunk. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But like like one that, yeah one that's like yeah you just like never and that looks oh it probably should look like it's not a one night stand bag like it shouldn't look like a freaking duffel it should probably just be like an oversized like Tory Burch work bag type yeah. deal like oh let me grab my work bag you could have different you could have different moods for it like mm. for a, for an outdoorsy girl it could be a hiking backpack for Ooh. a career lady it could be like a Tory Burch and it's for just like, what would be in it like for sure, sure it would be like a knapsack like for sure Plan B <laughs> like what else yeah. like literally I Plan think that's B all. face wash oh shoes so you don't have to carry your heels uh huh and workout clothes. Because we all know that we're wearing like, you know, underwear from 1995. Yeah, or what happens when you're wearing Spanx? <laughs> I've had that happen before where he's trying to make out with me and like wants to get up my dress but I'm wearing Spanx. And he's like, but what are these? And I'm like, well, I wasn't expecting for this to happen. Yeah, I have so no, actually that could be, that could work in the right way. Cause you'd be like, I had no clue. Like, never do this. No. I literally never do this. I. <laughs> I wouldn't have worn Spanx had I thought we were gonna hook up. 
I would have worn my leggings Spanx. I would have literally <laughs> just gone cut freaking Mando. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna call you Commandy. Okay. <laughs> I've seen more of you. <laughs> I don't know if you knew you were wearing see-through lace panties in the hot tub. It's the only panties I had with me. But then you sat up like on the side of the hot oh, tub. I forgot about that. <laughs> I was like, this girl is confident. <laughs> and I'm confident because I'm like, right there. Right there. <laughs> Like, it's not gonna go I was anywhere. Like, did she shave? No, yes, she did. Okay, no. I'm just I don't think I did. <laughs>